Hi guys, Good Girl Fair with a new video on fishnet networking. This time I will delve deeper into a viewer question. How to create a game chat. Let me first show you what I built in my proof of concept game. The local player can press the period key to toggle showing the input field and message buttons. There's a button to shout a text. Everyone in the game will see that message appear. There's also a button to say a text and only players close to the local player will see that message. You could easily change that into a team chat so only players in the same team see the message. A quick note to remember. When the input field is shown it will capture the keys from the keyboard as you type. However, other scripts may also process these keys. In my case Invector will move the player if I use the WSAD keys in my input field. So, when the input field and buttons are shown, I will also need to disable other scripts relying on input. Ok, back to the game chat. How does it work? Let me explain it in two slides. First the generic shout command. When I press the shout button it gets the text from the input field and sends it to a server RPC. This server RPC gets the text line, the game object representing the sender and the chat type as parameter. The chat type is now limited to say or shout. The server RPC simply passes down these parameters to an observer RPC. This RPC is received by all clients. When the shout command is used, the data is simply processed by the observer RPC and shown on all clients. If this is a say command, then it checks the distance of the local owner and the sender. If this distance is larger than the say range property of the matchat component, then the send text is simply ignored. What happens in the code? As you can see, I first check if the say command is used to run the proximity check. If that check is passed, the rest of the code is the same for either chat type. Next I collect all the chat lines already present in the UI. A chat line is basically a prefab with a TMP text attached to it. It also has a timeout and a fader function attached to it, so we will not be bothered with endless chat lines on the screen. Now I iterate through each of the existing chat lines and delete them if they are beyond their timeout and move them up the screen if not. Last, I create a new chat line from a prefab and set its text to the text received from the RPCs. The duration and fade duration are also set based on the MetChat properties. As I mentioned before, we need to deal with the keys being reused in other scripts. I do that in the update event. Using the period key, I toggle the UI for the chat. When the UI is activated, then I deactivate the Invector input script so it stops processing keys. I also keep track of the need to disable input with the property in the MetChat component called Disable Input. Any other script can just query that property to see if it needs to stop processing keys. Ok, this is another example on how to use remote procedure calls. I hope you liked it and can use it for your own multiplayer game. I am off working on my next video where I will show the flow of scenes when starting a Steam lobby, starting a match and returning back to the lobby at the end of the match without the game breaking apart. Thanks for watching this video and please give it a thumbs up if you like it.